A new report highlighted today by Caltrans suggests that potholes, traffic jams, and unsafe roads are costing every driver in the Bay Area thousands of dollars a year. KTV's Ken Pritchett live in Berkeley tonight with just how much people are spending because of the bad roads. Ken? Well, Frank, according to this new report, the Bay Area is second only to Los Angeles when it comes to deficient roadways in California, and that covers more than just roads that are in disrepair. A crash in Interstate 80 in Berkeley that looks to be about three feet long. Many roads in the Bay Area could use some work. Well, the roads in San Francisco are a little bit bumpy, so they make my car uh, an uncomfortable ride. And the daily wait in congested traffic costs time and money. It's pretty, pretty bad. Take traffic congestion, roads in need of repair, and add the number of crashes in which road conditions were a factor, and you have a major cost for all drivers, according to TRIP, a national transportation research group. The TRIP report says in San Francisco and Oakland, bad roads cost the average driver more than $2,200 a year. In San Jose, it's more than $1,700. New tires, uh, gas, by just sitting in traffic, so I can understand why the number's high. Well, it's a waste of time when you're sitting in the car, but, you know, I, I'm sort of used to it. The TRIP report finds that 49% of major roads in San Francisco and Oakland are rated in poor condition, and 30% are mediocre. Statewide, 28% of bridges show significant deterioration or don't meet modern standards. Caltrans says despite the report, California highways are in the best condition in 10 years and that it has adopted a fix it first policy as every dollar in maintenance saves $10 in future repairs. They should. They should fix the roads. I don't want bumpy roads, you know. A highway advocates point to this report and say that without more, that they certainly need more federal and state funding. Without that funding, the road conditions will get worse. In particular, they point to Congress, which they say needs to create a long-term and save, stable source of funding to fix and repair our highways. In Berkeley, Ken Pritchard, KTVU, Channel 2 News.